Lands across Siouxland sit dirty water directly into rivers because of flooding across the region. The level of flooding gave plants little choice. And here in Sioux City, wastewater was still disinfected, even if most of the treatment process was bypassed at times. KTIV's Matt Hoffman has the story. The total amount of water that we bypassed, we estimate is about 50 million gallons. That's Tom Pingle, Sioux City's utilities director. Those 50 million gallons are the equivalent of a couple days of normal flow at the plant. There's no button to press or switch to flip to start bypassing. It all comes down to the excess water reaching the plant. When the river backs up into there, it actually goes into manholes that are located in that concrete structure. He's talking about the Bacon Creek Channel, a concrete structure located south of Gordon Drive and east of Home Depot. The Bacon Creek Channel is pretty much empty right now. There's maybe an inch or two of water at the very bottom. But Pingle says at the height of the flooding, this channel was 75% full. Now you'll have to use your imagination, but if you think about it, that goes to show you the type of load the wastewater treatment plant system was dealing with. Yeah, yeah it was contaminated, but really, really, really diluted wastewater. Pingle says he is not aware of any environmental impacts and the our Department of Natural Resources has not singled out Sioux City as many communities bypassed during this flooding. In Sioux City, Matt Hoffman, KTIV News 4. Other communities also experienced direct wastewater discharge. In Haywarden, Haywarden, the wastewater plant was completely taken offline and it will be months until it's fully operational. In Spencer, which perhaps suffered the worst of the flooding, their plant was also fully offline. In Cherokee, only one of three wastewater pumps was operational as of Tuesday of this week. Wastewater was also directly discharged into the Iowa Great Lakes. In Vermilion, South Dakota, wastewater was directly discharged into the Vermilion River. That's after the city lost all three of its force main pipes. We asked the Iowa DNR to quantify how much wastewater was discharged across all of Northwest Iowa, but they didn't get back to us. Back on June 21st, the DNR said all rivers and lakes in northern Iowa were unsafe for swimming or boating. So far, they haven't given the all clear. They noted discharges across Lyon, Sioux, Dickinson, O'Brien, Osceola, and Clay counties. And we've since asked the Iowa DNR if there are any threats to the public from the discharges, but a spokesperson has not yet responded.